Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackoutBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King D.L. Lauren Frey, Grim Clover, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Well, it's official, guys. Uh, my numbers are trending upward when it comes to my my royalty payments. I, I didn't want to say anything about it this year because, you know, it's been up and down over the past couple of years, but uh, it seems like... I am making, like, a flat amount each month, or meaning, like, I have a minimum, like, average that I meet. So, like, I can expect to make, like, a certain amount each month through book sales and through things like that. And uh, first of all, I would really like to thank you all for your support, your interest, and your enthusiasm. It means a lot to me. I am very extremely grateful for every fan that I get, and every time I... <laughs> I get new people just reading my books. It, it's like there is no – there is no f more flattering feeling in the world than, than than having people like enjoy the things you've made. I, I am extremely grateful for all of that. But like secondly, this isn't like quite a uh, – you know, a Black Cat Books Direct. But it, it's just like a formal observation. Uh, I am in – Although I still am continuing to uh, produce, you know, full novels and, and release them on the Kindle eShop uh, because they have been successful, right? <laughs> Kindle eShop, uh, releasing them on Kindle. I, I feel as if Kindle Vela is becoming more of a viable platform for me personally, in part because, you know, I can – I have a lot more flexibility when it comes to creating new franchise, uh, new series, and like uh, being able to balance between them and being able to update more regularly. Like that, there are a lot of reasons I feel that I'm leaning more towards Kindle Vela at the moment. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be a long-term thing. Uh, I can see myself like transitioning away from Kindle Vela in the future as well. But at this stage, I feel like yes, Kindle Vela is huge for me and as a result of that i really need to start like promoting it more so uh, expect to see new interesting stories from me that are published directly onto the service uh, already i have like grim on there uh dark you know which is a dark fantasy uh, i have you know clover is getting published now i have king dio and i have uh what was the last one Yeah, book spill blood, which uh, honestly I think needs a name change. It was that was just a random thing that I came up with that I uh, decided to publish on the platform. And uh, yeah, yeah, I enjoy it, but it's like, uh, where am I gonna go with this? Like, I don't even have the name for it. I, again, we'll have to see if like if any of these stories go anywhere, if like they get dropped. Uh, at the moment, what I'm focused on doing is trying to to create like. A lot of new interesting things and trying to figure out like what my audience wants to see from me. Uh, I, I think that is the big thing at the moment that I don't really understand because I'm definitely like – I'm definitely getting readers. I'm definitely like making money but it's just, it's just a matter of like what do – what is my audience like wanting to see from me going forward? What are they really enthusiastic about? I really have no idea. I've uh, – I've been kind of just coming up with like all these wild ideas and all of them are – all of them are great and all of them are doing well. So it's like I, I – reaching the next level is going to be like not really a slog but like it, it's going to be an interesting challenge to kind of – to kind of reach. So uh, I hope I will be able to deliver, deliver new stories to you soon. Uh, please check them out in the description below and I will see you all next time.